Good evening and welcome to my thought for the day this Monday the 27th of April. Let's begin with a prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, meet us now through your spirit. Remind us of your living presence and risen power. In a world where fear is strong and hope seems threatened, may your resurrection life flow within us convincing us of the blessings you hold in store. And may that assurance sustain us this night and always. Amen. Now, yesterday afternoon saw me on my hands and knees in my front garden, pulling up dandelions. I've only got a really small lawn, um, a pocket handkerchief really, about four metres by two. Um, but I was digging those dandelions out, out one by one. Uh, yes, I probably have got a bit too much time on my hands. But I was using a two pronged fork, which belonged to my grandfather. You know the kind, it's got a sort of slight bend in the middle of it. And I remember using that self same fork back when I was about 10 years old in his garden in Lymington. And he used to pay me, I was doing that because he used to pay me a halfpenny per dandelion if I got the whole, you know, the whole root out in one. Now, it doesn't sound much a halfpenny, does it? But in fact, um, you could buy an awful lot of sweets for threepence in those days. And kneeling on the lawn using his uh, grubber just gave me a chance to think about my grandparents and all the things that they've given me. And I was thinking about how I'd got um, the gift of, of music from one grandma and uh, love of sewing from the other and from my grandfather as well definitely gardening and then probably going into the ministry from from the other grandfather great gifts to have been given and i know that at the moment we can't see the other members of our families but we can take a few minutes to remember all the things we've learned from them thanking God for the objects we've inherited, if that's the case, for the skills that they've given us, the person, personality traits they've handed down, all the gifts, in fact, from those of past generations. God, of course, sees our lives in the context of the big picture. We tend to focus on the now, don't we? Um, many of us are thinking about, are hoping that sometime soon the lockdown will be eased and things will change. But God focuses on the big picture. His purpose and plans are so much greater than those of any individual. Thank God that they continue from generation to generation. Now let us pray. Loving God, we pray for our families. Be with them wherever they are. Be with the elderly and the very young especially. May they be assured of our love and your constant presence. Amen. And a prayer for those who are sick. God of compassion, we pray for those who are sick. Give them fresh courage to face each day and the comfort of your love for them. Be close to those who are ill, especially to those who can't have friends or family beside them. Be their consolation, be their hope, be their light. We ask these things through him who suffered alone on the cross, but reigns with you in glory, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And to end with a prayer um, of blessing for you all. May the Father's love for you have no end. May the risen Son grant you salvation. May the Spirit breathe new life into you. And the blessing of God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you always. Amen.